The battery data genome has two major challenges. The first one is that there's a diversity of battery data that is collected. Each community collects the battery data in their own way. And in order to unify this data, there's a difficulty in being able to manage all these differences. The second challenge is scale. The amount of battery data that we have in each of these communities is often siloed because there's no way to unify them. And if you don't unify them, the battery data is less useful because the scale of data really enables the whole revolution that is enabled by machine learning, the ability to use those machine learning methods to be able to understand how batteries can be made to perform better, last longer, and serve the role of being the bridge to enable decarbonization in the upcoming economy. In order to realize the true potential of batteries in the decarbonization story that lies ahead, we believe that the battery data genome will be a fundamental enabler. And we identify six operating principles that are critical to enable the battery data genome. The first one is standards. Standards is basically to set the right kind of protocols on how tests at various scales, such as the materials level, cell level, pack and module level, are conducted. The second operating principle is metadata. Metadata is collecting the data that's about the experiment that was done to collect the data. Metadata is very, very important as that allows us to understand what happens when the experiment was performed. The third operating principle is quality. Quality is guaranteed when the experimental measurements are taken according to the standards that are specified and the metadata is properly collected as well as controls are in place to ensure that the battery data is clean, well curated, and of high quality. The fourth operating principle is sharing. We recognize that in order to enable the battery data genome, not all information can be shared. But battery performance data by itself is not proprietary, and battery performance data is critical to assess the veracity of claims associated with the battery performance. We recognize that proprietary material information about the battery may not be specifiable, and that is totally compatible with the vision of the battery data genome. The fifth operating principle is software. In order to enable the data that is shared to be usable, we at least require that the data is compatible to be used with one interoperable software suite. The final operating principle is sustainability. We recognize that the stakeholders in the community, companies, universities, national labs, each have their own objective. And unfortunately, universities and national labs that typically have the largest incentive to share, they all have small amounts of data, while companies have large amounts of data, but they don't have the incentive to share. The battery data genome has to think about the financial and organizational principles such that we maximize the amount of data that is shared in the community. Batteries are a central piece of the decarbonization economy, and the vision for the battery data genome is to build the framework such that we get battery data together in a unified way in the battery data hub, and then put together the organizational and sharing principles such that we maximize the community's collected collective intelligence and use that to accelerate the development of batteries such that they play a crucial role in the electrification of everything that's around us. Mm -hmm.